G'day everybody and welcome back to another Ross Reviews where today we are in another Falcon. This is a naturally aspirated Series 1 XR6 with the 5 speed and today we're going to be comparing it with another naturally aspirated Falcon, a Series 2 with the ZF6 speed. Both of these cars have been modified very tastefully so we've got full exhaust systems on both of these cars. They have both been tuned by the same tuner at BPT and they're both putting down about the same power, roughly 270 horsepower to the rear wheels. Now these five speeds were available only in the Series 1 car, so from 2008 up until 2010, if you didn't want to fork out any more cash, you would have just got this five speed automatic in the XR6. And a lot of people do complain about this gearbox and say it's kind of the worst, but this is my first time actually driving with one, so I'm impartial. I don't know how good or bad this gearbox is, and honestly, just driving it at the moment, I wouldn't say it's that bad. Just cruising on this rough country road, though, I gotta say, it seems to shift fairly fine, seems to feel fairly smooth. It is really only when you start flat footing this car that you can kind of tell it is just slightly a little bit more aggressive because of the lack of one gear here. Now just going on fuel economy because there is a bit of a difference here between these gearboxes and their fuel economy rating. This particular one, it is tuned, we got that exhaust full system. It's putting about 12.6 liters per 100 Ks down and you know look, these really aren't known for great fuel economy. It is still a straight six, you know, and it's a big car, it's a heavy car. It is what it is. It'd be very interesting to see what the other one is putting down because I believe from factory, these with the five speed were meant to be putting out about 10.5 liters per 100 Ks and the ZFs were meant to be about that 10 liter range. Now just putting it over in performance mode, it's Tiptronic, just like in the six speed, tailored exactly the same way. So you pull down, go up a gear, push it forward, you go down a gear, just how I like it. And just running the gears here. You know, it seems to work pretty well. You know, I don't really, can't really fault it to be honest driving it like this yeah you you definitely want to keep it in that rev range of about 3,000 onwards if you really want to put the power down but as long as you're doing that this thing moves pretty healthily I gotta say the biggest difference I seem to know with this five-speed just when you have it in drive when you're when you're in performance mode and you're changing the gears yourself Seems to be very comparable to any other Falcon I've driven. It's really just when you're in drive and you flat foot it, it just seems to be a little bit more savage just because, you know, there is a lack of a gear there. And depending on where you are on that rev range and what speed you're doing, sometimes it can feel quite severe. But yeah, in performance mode, Shifting your own gears feels pretty nice. Now, zero to 100 guys here, the moment of truth, what you guys have probably been waiting for here. We just got in uh, performance mode. We've got traction control off to give it its best chance. We have reset the draggy, and we are just gonna flat stick it and just see what we get here. So, it's gonna build the revs up a little bit, and here we go. Come on, 80, 100, there we go. It did seem to kind of struggle at the beginning there. Was, that was a little bit funny to me. I built the revs up to just about 2000 RPM and it did have a very kind of slow takeoff, which kind of threw me off there a little bit, but um, let's have a look at what that time was. there was achieved in 7.5 seconds so 
Let's get in to that series two and try this again. All right, now in the series two with the naturally aspirated six speed ZF, again, these cars have been basically tuned exactly the same with the same tuner, both putting down, you know, roughly those same power figures. This is gonna be interesting to see what this car actually gets. So just like in the last one, I'm gonna leave traction control off. Just leave it in performance mode. And we'll reset the draggy. Draggy's reset. And build the revs up a little bit and go. So here we go. Hundred. There we go. It again. I still feel like that initial launch. I know we again got two people in the back, just like the last one. So this is all very comparable. Uh, it still definitely feels like you could get a little bit more out of it at the very beginning. But let's have a look at what that time was. So right there we had seven point one nine. So seven point two. Just that initial lag at the beginning, I think maybe a little bit of a harder launch. We might sort it out. So let's try this again. Just a little bit of it at the beginning. And 100. There we go. It's just getting off the line. It just seems to be stuck at 2000 RPM and not let me build it up a little bit more. It would love to be built up to about 2500 RPM. It just does not let me do that. But let's have a look what that time was. Zero to 100 right there again was 7.6 seconds. So clearly our first attempt at 7.19 was definitely the quickest. And let's remember guys, he's got a full boot of stuff in the back. Uh, you know, there's two guys in the back seats as well with me. So it's a full car and I don't know, I guess if you had an empty car, you probably would be getting close to getting into the six seconds range, but that seems to be what it is. Now just straight away, jumping into this 2012 Series 2 naturally aspirated XR6, the ZF is extremely noticeable actually. Uh, you know, when I'm in the five speed, yeah, it felt okay. I could definitely tell it was a little bit more laggy when you're just in drive, but yeah, the, the six speed, so much smoother, especially when you're on power. It, it, it's actually quite noticeable. Uh, kind of surprised me with that because you don't really notice it until you jump from the five speed straight to the six speed. And uh, definitely, definitely an option you want to have if at all possible. Now let's just get into the fuel economy here again because like we were mentioning in the five speed, the six speed ZF had a lower rating from factory. So going on our average fuel economy here, this is actually pulling up a 10.4 on average. So significantly less than the last one we've seen and we've actually been giving it quite a few launches, testing it out quite heavy footedly right now. And uh, you know, look, we're still over two liters under what that five speed was putting out. So you'd, without a doubt, you're gonna save fuel if you have a ZF six speed. So all up between these two cars, same tuner, same mods, roughly the same rear wheel horsepower. They are fairly smooth, both of the gearboxes. It's really when you're in this six speed ZF, you start putting the power down from a drive, you know, from anywhere in the rev range, that's when this feels very noticeably smoother. It definitely is a lot smoother than that five speed and just seems to give you a more linear power, 100%. Highly recommend, if at all possible, go for a series two if you can afford it. And definitely, six-speed manual or the six-speed ZF would be my two choices over the five-speed, of course. And just even from drive here, you know, we're just going, you flat foot it. 
Yes. Much quicker to respond and noticeably smoother. The five speed definitely took that extra second and then when it did shift down, much more violent of a gear change down. So, you know, you really kind of got thrown from 3000 RPM up to like 4,500 straight away where this being having that extra gear, you know, it, it just does it much smoother. Very noticeable, wow. So in the end, without a doubt, the ZF six speed is the far superior transmission. It not only shifts smoother, quicker, and saves you on fuel economy, the ZF is the more reliable gearbox, with lots of my subscribers telling me that the five speeds are prone to the odd detonation. But if you look after one and you're not interested in the best of the best, the five speed can still treat you right. And regardless of what transmission you're running, you just gotta love an Aussie Falcon. Thanks for watching.